Hello and welcome to Horror and Monster Collectibles where today we're going to be taking a look at this Soda Toys pumpkin head that I customized about a year and a half ago or so and I really like the way it came out. Uh, it's a really cool figure. Uh, these are long uh, sold out. Uh, I, these figures are old. I think they're 15 years old or so. I mean they've been around for a while. Uh, Soda Toys is no longer in business but they pumped out some really really kick-ass stuff back in their heyday and uh, as far as pumpkin head collectibles uh, this is a highly sought after figure they can still be found on eBay and other places uh, but uh, it's it's well worth the price usually you can find them for about 200 bucks or so which seems steep but uh, it's a really awesome figure especially if you put some TLC into it so let's go ahead and spin around and take a closer look and I'll show you what I did guys so hopefully in watching this video you guys get inspired to tackle a project like this what I ended up doing for him was I filled up I basically glued all of the joints again this was an action figure but I turned it into a statue I glued all the joints and filled it with putty and then uh, sculpted it flat again to hide the seams um, there fortunately uh, with this action figure there wasn't like a whole lot of seams here like I remember there was a neck one and then shoulders, waist, and I think that that was about it. Oh, wrists too. Um, I had like a wrist joint in there too. But uh, anyway, I did all that and then I painted him. I completely repainted him. And I'm not a great painter by any means, but I do like the way he turned out. He does look better than he did before. And it was a fun project to do but it's a really cool figure and with a little bit of work actually this was a lot of work but again this is like the this is probably the first time and the only time I tackled a project like this I think it took me just working on it off and on about three weeks or so um, I mean not that's just like on my own time I, I had to work a full-time job with that too so and then family but anyway it took me about three weeks I know you guys don't care so much about that but uh, I'm pretty happy with the way he turned out and soda really did a great job with this um, right out the bat like the, the piece was super awesome back then uh, and they're long sold out for a reason. These are pretty sold after as far as pumpkin head collectors. And I just, I, I loved it back in the day and I wanted to do something different with him and make him more impressive. So that's kind of what I decided to do. I can't remember if there was, I feel like that there was a leg joint in here somewhere. There were some seams where they put it together where they assembled pumpkin head and I filled those in too. The tail is bendable. It has a wire tail so you can kind of just set that in whatever place you want. Now as far as the base what I did is I went over to Michael's and they had uh, some just like wood plaques and I just went ahead and got um, it's just a sliced piece of wood and we even with, with bark still around it and I used that as the base and then I went and got some of their I don't know what it is even like moss or whatever like dried moss and then some of their little pumpkins that they had fortunately I went around Halloween time so they had this stuff in stock and I just kind of went to town I glued stuff down and I tried to do try to simulate some vine work in here um, the pumpkins were, were plastic and were pretty basic so I added like some shading in there to kind of weather them up make them a little, little bit more rotten like they've been sitting in the patch for a while but I do like the way it came out and 
it was kind of like a fun little project to do and I actually did it with the kids and they helped out some as well and it's always fun when you can do a project and uh, incorporate the family into it get a quick up close of the head now I'm not I'm no painter for sure and I didn't know how to tackle stuff like this but getting a little vein work in the eye was a pain in the butt it really kind of kicked my butt a bit it was a pain to get that detail in there and in his mouth but I think it came out pretty rad all right guys so hopefully this video inspires you to either get a soda toys pumpkin head which he is about 19 inches tall or so kind of depends on how you have him positioned but here he is 19 inches tall so it's a big figure it's definitely worth getting just on its own uh, you don't have to do this but hopefully if you see this video uh, then you're inspired to take the project on yourself uh, it's not something where you have to be like a uh, super knowledgeable uh, to do um, just a little bit of elbow grease and some time and you can convert it over and it looks something similar to this uh, although you may be a better painter than I and it makes it look even better I've seen some of these conversions before and they just look absolutely stunning uh, I just love this figure uh, soda I, I love so much from them I wish that they were around still pumping out stuff because they gave us so many awesome action figures uh, I have the the McFarlane uh, pumpkin head uh, but I've never taken him out of the package uh, he just kind of remains in there but he does look cool too but this has like nice size to it and makes a great display piece and again isn't too expensive I've even seen them down to like 150 bucks or so you just gotta keep an eye out for them as always feel free to leave any questions or comments that you have on this piece and I'll be happy to answer them if you have questions on how to do a particular step like filling in joints or whatever I'll be glad to help you out and feel free to like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications for new videos and until next time I'll see you guys later